Before we get going too rambunctious with Onshape, we should probably talk about geometric constraints. Geometric constraints are somewhat like dimensional constraints in that they give us a, a lot of power over what we're about to create. So we're going to create the shape you see on your screen. Well, let's get started. We'll start with a brand new document. So I'll go to create and I'll say new document. And for this one, I'm going to call it circular pattern and choose create. Now we are going to do this a little bit different than I normally would, just so we can show you the power of geometric constraints. There are all kinds of different ways to do this. I am going to click sketch and then I'll click the front plane and I'm going to choose in for normal. Next up, I'm going to take a series of lines. So I'm going to draw a line here and the sizes aren't really all that important at all yet. I'm going to draw three lines. So I'm just clicking or pressing L on my keyboard placing three lines on the screen. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll do a coincident constraint, which is right here, coincident, where you could press I. So I'm going to see this dot and this point, I guess two points, should be coincident with each other. And this and this should also be coincident with each other. While I'm at it, you notice this line is a little bit longer than this line. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to use my equals constraint. Notice E for equals. I'll say this line and this line should be equal. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and draw an extra line out here and press escape. So now what I'm going to do is I want this line to come into the midpoint of this line. So I'll click the midpoint constraint, I'll click this point and the line and they'll go to the midpoint. Next, I'm going to take a circle and start it up here. And I'll put another circle up here. And also, I'm going to do something similar down here. I'm going to put a couple more circles. Sizes really don't matter yet. I am going to say coincident, and I'll say the center point of this circle should be right there. Now I'm going to use what's called a concentric constraint. And this means two circles or two arc features are going to share the same center point. Click the small one and put it into the big one. Now check this move out. I'm going to use the symmetric constraint. So here's symmetric. And I'm going to say I want this circle and this circle to be symmetric on opposite sides of this line. So those are identical. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say this circle and this circle on this line. You notice it puts them symmetrical, puts them in perfect form for us as well. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and use the tangent constraint. The tangent constraint is going to line up uh, an arc to another arc or an arc in a straight line where they intersect in one point. So I'm going to click the big circle down here and the big circle up here. And notice those two are now touching. Just to show you, I'll put a line out here. I'm going to use a midpoint constraint. See this line and this line. Now notice I might want those to be perpendicular. So if I wanted them to be perpendicular, I'll use the perpendicular constraint. So right here to here. Now they're exactly 90. One other one. I'll come out here and choose this line. I want those to be parallel. So what I'll do is I'll choose the parallel constraint. I see this line and this line need to be parallel. And also, I want those to be equal. I'll click both lines and now they're equal. All right, so to make the pattern, let's do this. We're going to go to Shift and E for Extrude. And I'm going to click both of the donuts. Actually, Onshape kind of selected them for me and said, hey, is this what you meant? Like, sure, that is what I meant to do. So I'll click OK. I've got something going like this. Now what I want to do is I want to pattern that. So I'm going to go up. I'm, I'm in that features environment here. I'm in the features environment right here where it says linear pattern. I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm going to choose a circular pattern. So a couple options says what entities do I want to pattern. So I'll just click this. And for axis of pattern, make sure that's clicked in. I'll just click a center circle here. 
And then I can choose, all right, well, right now it gives me four by default. What if I only want three? Press enter for a preview. What if I want six? Press enter for a preview. And click the green check mark. Good uses of those geometric constraints, they can really be tremendous time savers.